welcome back to a new video and this is another challenge today we are doing unpoppable with just explosive damage striker jones bomb shooter uh mortar our main ones and then we've got some extra towers that do eventually get explosive damage and uh they can be used later on as long as i get them straight to that crossbar or straight to the amount of tears they need to get the explosion so obviously striker jones is um pretty i think the only hero that does explosive damage like only you obviously have um churchill which does also the machine gun which is just regular pop damage but I feel like uh, Striker Genius is the way to go. The reason we're doing um, Impoppable is because it's physically, or at least I can't find a way to do it on chimps. You can only start with a bomb shooter if you don't on chimps, and uh, that's just not enough damage. If you got to a mortar, you'd eventually be able to like, um, oh no, this isn't good. That, oh, do I have enough on the back? Okay, I do. Uh, if you had a mortar, you could um, hotkey it and change where it shoots, but you can't even get a mortar off the bat, so uh, it's just not going to happen. The main problem here is going to be black balloons and making sure I can pop them. I think the only way I'm going to be able to do it is possibly Striker Jones making it to level 5. If not, it's going to be frag bombs, which we're going to get now. Obviously, we're going to get to cluster bombs later, but I'm pretty sure these shards that come out of the frag bombs can yeah balloons including black balloons so for now that's the only way i can really think of killing black balloons until striker jones becomes a uh, higher level but i don't even know when black balloons come out so i might just be talking rubbish i also tried this on impoppable um apocalypse and uh black balloons come out so early and you get no money at the end of a round so it's just so hard to start the game that I don't, it might be possible, but I couldn't think of a way. Uh, I mean, you can try it yourself, but uh, I'm warning you that it's not going to be easy. Okay, we got level 5, which means black balloons are less resistant. We're going to go straight to cluster bomb, because cluster bombs are a lot of damage that we could very well do with. Recursive cluster is going to have to wait, obviously. But um, that's pretty good. And, oh, we have no camo. I didn't think about this. We might have to restart because I'm not going to be able to get signal flare. Oh wait, no, we got spikes at the end. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. But I am going to have to get signal flare as soon as possible. And we're going to have to put it in this little bit here where it hits multiple times. Come on, signal flare. We're probably going to need multiple signal flares because uh, we're just not going to be able to ensure that every camo gets hit. Well, uh, leads are not a problem, I can tell you that. Okay, we're going to pray that this is enough camo to um, get all the camos killed. I'm really hoping it is. Okay, the camos so far are looking like they're getting killed, which is nice. Because uh, Striker Jones gives a plus 10% for mortars at the moment. Uh, blast radius. Which uh, actually helps quite a lot. What it will definitely help with is my second tower... Which is just going to be top path with um, faster reload. With faster reload. We're getting shell shock for now. But the uh, the amount of damage that we're going to be able to do. And the area that we're going to be able to do it. Is going to be very important. Just before round 40. We're going to look to get recursive cluster. And that should be perfectly fine. The mob's not going to have a chance. And it's going to be dead soon. Yep. Too easy. Okay, we're definitely going to buy one of the few towers that uh, I can change to be explosive. Getting hydro rocket pods. Putting up the front. And getting focus firing. We can also get laser shot. Do a little bit of damage. Okay, as mortars are making it a bit too far, we're gonna go get a middle path. Everyone knows how good middle path is. We're gonna go straight to Mob Assassin. 
bigger bombs and lob it on strong. And uh, I think mobs are going to be stopped a whole lot quicker this time. There hasn't really been much to say besides just new towers I'm getting. I mean, ceramics get killed so quickly. It has just been mobs that have been the problem. But with this, uh, they're going to die a whole lot quicker. And uh, maybe I'll have to upgrade later. But for now, we're going to be good. One of the upgrades I've been considering for a long time, and I think I'm going to have to go for, is a very expensive one. It's going to require me to have 60k. I need to get Shattering Shells and then Blue Incineration. The problem with this is because we're going to get DDTs, and they only take camo damage, and I can't uncamo a DDT because a DDT is just camo. So I need a significant amount of damage that I can do to camos, and, well... None of the other towers I can get are going to do damage apart from Hydro Rocket Pods. Now you could say I could go for a MAD, but a MAD 72k and that's just out of my budget. So between Hydro Rocket Pods, I could get Ninja Monkey bottom path, but I really just think we're going to have to go for Blue Incinerator, especially as um, Striker Jones is buffing it anyway. Even though it's not like a massive buff, it's still a good enough buff to, I think it's worth going for it. I mean, the other thing I get is the fact that we're not gonna have any reinforced, which is very good. Reinforced can cause a bit of a problem, especially with like zero MGs. Apart from that, it looks like we're all gonna be good and hopefully we can make it to around 100. Also, if you could let me know in the comments, which is a better cross path, top or bottom, I mean top or middle. Uh, top increases the amount that the the fire does but middle increases the amount of fires you can have on the track at one time because they're like time dependent and then you shoot faster if you could let me know which one does more that would be a uh, greatly appreciated with this um we're kind of in a bit of a limbo position i can either go for like another big tower or i can like spam a few towers i'm probably gonna get another one of the recursive clusters maybe two um I'll probably bring this Mortar Monkey to big one because I get quite a lot of area damage, but Super Strams are going to come out soon, and uh, or if they think they've already started coming out. And uh, we're going to probably have some problems with them later. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, we're getting increasingly closer to Striker Jones getting level 20. We got all bomb shooters and mortar monkeys shoot 10% faster again, which is obviously very useful. Uh, just 19 now, which increases damage and black balloons get killed quickly. And then we get artillery command, which is going to be useful for the mobs again. Uh, I mean the bombs and mortars because it doubles the damage and pops per shot for bomb shooters and mortars for 10 seconds. So it's a 10 second massive damage bar okay i've kind of decided with the amount of damage that's coming out and stuff and just the pure amount of moabs that i'm having to kill it's probably going to be smartest for me to go for bomb blitz um i obviously don't get the, ab the passive ability because the passive ability just affects if we lose lives which we can't lose so it's just going to be the pure amount of damage that we gain from having bomb blitz uh that we're going to have to rely on so with now a greater bomb shooter even though it can't shoot right now because everything is camo uh it's been able to do a bit of damage to the uh ceramics here round 95 is going to be a breeze these ddts just don't make it past the balloon generation but now you can really see the bomb blitz coming into its own even though it hasn't having it hasn't having to do that much damage. 98 is going to be a big test. Okay, apparently blue incineration doesn't take. Oh, is this Moab Claw? Wait, I'm not saying about blue incineration. Apparently, shattering shells has all but the biggest balloons. I thought biggest balloons meant mad. I mean bad, but clearly it means zero mg as well, which is quite sad. Okay, we're definitely going to have to use Artillery Command here. As soon as it gets in range, Artillery Command gets popped, double the damage. Oh, that just melted it. Alright, that was good. We might be able to just afford 
having... If we sell that, we can get Moab Eliminator. And if we just spam Moab Eliminator, we're going to be able to kill this Moab pretty quickly. And we can use the Artillery Command. And that's GG's. Thanks for watching. Leave your next video suggestions in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.